Well, we got that spreader working. That was yesterday. A guy came by, looked at it. He's going to buy it from us. So we're getting rid of that. And of course, that took all the time I had yesterday. So we're back today. We're going to go out there and uh, start putting up some fence. Well, got my stuff together. About to head out there. It's hot. Yeah, we're gonna put up some fence. You may have seen her in a video already. I'm not sure out of what I filmed so far, but this is my dog, Molly. She's old, she's probably about, I think about 12 or 13 now. She used to run everywhere, but now she rides on the gator. She gets tired pretty fast. So I let her just ride. out there to uh, behind my house start setting things up All right, I went and got, I'd forgotten, or I actually I couldn't find the last old T-post I had to run this north-south fence, but I went and got some. But I'm gonna have to come out. I'm up there, there's my corner, coming down this way, but I've got where this tree fell over, big hole in there. So I'm gonna have to come off the fence a bit because I don't want them to start trying to root down and uh, pretty much get out of the pen area. So I'm gonna have to come out here with a T-post and then I'm gonna continue down just kind of hugging the the old fence line and uh see what happens with that but i think there's some other stuff i'm about to come out around i hate to lose the i'll have to keep it sprayed because i don't want to lose the you know stuff growing out to that line but that's what we're going to do So this is a concern, it drops off real bad right here. And I can't just use push in here because once I tighten the, uh, the wire, it might try to pull them up. So I'm gonna have to use more T-post than I wanted. I've gotta go around that stump to that tree. So I know I'm gonna to have to have a T-post there. So yeah, luckily I bought a few extra of the new ones. I'll probably end up putting one here, one down here, that way, I can work with that that line down to here to there back to the tree and then i'll be done with t-post we'll see how that goes
as you may have noticed I have a bit of a belly on me right now <laughs> I fluctuate a lot so I guess maybe maybe this will be a weight loss journey too we'll see I know I shouldn't be huffing and puffing this much after a little bit of work but that was like four t-posts maybe maybe you can comment down below if i'm out of shape or in shape i'm pretty sure i'm gonna know the answer <laughs> but that'll be fun to do i'm gonna use this tree right here i had to go to the barn get some screws This is at the start of my fence, so I need to come off here somewhere and start running down. Let's see if I can get this situated. This uh, pulls that way. I'm going to want like this. Oh, this is going to be bad. Bad, bad, bad. Little pigs and be able to get out from up under there. I'll figure something out. I'll just start it from here for now. I can probably put, uh, put, put it down a bit or something else. Good enough. Una mas. I can probably come back later, cut all that junk off. I'll put it here in this old spot. I don't know what was here before. See that it tried to, tried to twist around on me. There we go, rudimentary, but it'll be set back right. I'll probably put like a little step in right there, and it'll start going down the regular fence. Came back to the barn. I've got just a few more of those uh, extender insulators to put up, but uh, I'm missing some of my wire. I don't know where it is, and I was going to just steal my brother's wire, but. I better go to town and see, <laughs> see if they got anything. Um, yeah. Alright, so I'm heading to Gaddis McLaurin. They're kind of like our local co-op type thing. They've got all the stuff we need. Um, sometimes I go to the tractor supply, but they don't have a lot of the stuff that Gaddis will. It's a local place. It's been around probably over 100 years, I'd imagine rain coming, hope not. We'll see. We are now in Bolton, Mississippi. That's where Gaddis is located. Let me get across this railroad here. And uh, it's about 15, 20 minutes away from Raymond. 15 to where I'm at, maybe 10, 10, 15, something like that. But here's Gaddis right here. This is Gaddis McLaurin. It's been here for quite a while. There's the Bowden Water Tower. This is 
pretty much it. You're looking at the, the town center. Got a little store over there. Got a cotton gin out that way. That's Bolton. Well, I'm head, heading back out to behind my house from Gaddis. They had the turbo wire, so that's good. I got two rolls of 800 meters, which is more than enough to finish what I'm doing today. Um, but I'll probably end up using most of it once I do the uh, finish stringing out the, the wagon wheel pattern. So let's get started again. I think it's a little bit cooler. We're overcast now, so. I don't think I'm going to burn up as much. All right, let me put on the rest of these things every so often. Hurry up and cows are coming up the fence. I need to hook it back up. We're gonna do that real quick. I only had one more T post. Put those insulators on and then I noticed that. It's also starting to sprinkle a little bit. Well, about to string this line. Now, it's gonna be too tough for me to there and carry this camera with me so I'm just gonna set it right here we'll probably time lapse it or something let's get it up All right, time to go up and back. Do this then. That was a miserable experience, to say the least. All right, all I put up, I finished putting up that wire. All it was was just a couple little sections I needed to put some step-in insulators just to keep the spacing correctly. And I tied everything in, so I'm about to check to see if we got anything. And wonderful, nothing. Still look over here. This is where I get my hot from. I'm only getting one. We were supposed to be getting, before I tied in what I did, 
we were getting, I think about 3.6 or 3.9. So I don't think I'm getting that anymore. Yeah, something's wrong back that way somewhere. We'll have to figure it out, figure out what that is. I think I found the culprit. The wind must have pushed this up and flipped this over. So I'm going to put, I didn't have them the other day, else I would have done it. But uh, I've got those insulators now that I bought today. So I'm going to put that on there, that shot. That'll fix that. All right, let's get this another try. Oh, me. So, so I got to fix this. That's, sometimes I get some popping right there. There we go. Now we take the new part that hasn't been connected before. This is just tied in today. Uh -oh. Interesting. And I never tied it in. So I don't gotta turn that. Turn the power off and fix that, then we should be good. All right, let's try this again. Let's see what we got. All right, but we knew we were hot there. Just checking to make sure we weren't pulled down too much on something. There we go. Ooh, we're getting. So four, six, four, five. Now we're cooking. Perfect. We are now done with the outer fence. I'm happy about that. Now to work on the wagon wheel. <laughs>